Business is not about products and services, it's about people. Thus believes the man who manages the largest hypermarket chain in the Gulf, Juzair Rupawala. Director of Lulu Group International, Mr. Rupawala began his career with a business entity that is a major player in the economic scenario of the Middle East in 1992 and over the three decades handling various roles and responsibilities successfully climbed up the rungs to the esteemed office that he is in today. He initiated his Bahrain saga with the first Lulu hypermarket in 2007 in Danamol, a brand which today stands towering as a synonym for family shopping in the country and beyond. A commerce graduate with a managerial financing credential from the London School of Economics, Mr. Rupawala believes in leading by example. Committed to the vision of ethical business practice adopted by the conglomerate that has made an identity of its own globally, the energetic and enthusiastic executive regards his chairman, Yusuf Ali Emi, as his inspiration. Besides being busy with his team that works round the clock to keep the shelves of the eight outlets of the hypermarkets across the country full, ensuring that every customer who walks in leaves with a smile, adopting and adapting to surprises, thriving to make shopping at Lulu an experience that is rewarding, fulfilling and safe, Mr. Rupawala also finds time for his personal interests and social commitments. The passionately creative humanist, as the Instagram fan describes himself, Mr. Rupabala is an avid reader, fun-loving foodie, fitness freak, and a Bollywood fan who enjoys singing. A follower of Art of Living, the man from India's dream city, Mumbai, lives in Bahrain with his wife, Maria. Joining us this evening on the very special episode, the Silver Jubilee session of BizTalk, Success Stories of Business Leaders from BMC Global Life, it is Director, Lulu Group International, Juzel Rupawala. Where the, world, where the world comes to shop safely, a tagline that's a mandra in households of expats and citizens alike in Bahrain and beyond. A man who ensures this safety, taking the brand which needs no introduction in the region to heights each day. Director, Lulu International Group, Jose Rupawala, joining me on this talk, a very special episode, the 25th episode of this talk. Jose, good evening. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Rajin, and uh, congratulations on the 25th episode, and congratulations and best wishes to the entire team. You have been doing a wonderful job, and we look forward to a, a fun interactive session today. Indeed. Thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for accepting my invitation and our, our invitation to join us on this show, which features success stories of business leaders. I know you're not, not a businessman as such, but one who executes an excellent business. Uh, because as I said, Lulu is a brand which needs no introduction. It is part and parcel of all of us. Uh, shopping is never complete without Lulu. It looks like that, isn't it? And let me begin with my very first question. Lulu has something for everyone every day be it an occasion, be it a festival, be it for men, women, youngsters, every day, something or the other interesting. Is this a business strategy? Uh, uh, well, Raji, before we get to the mm -hmm. question and answers, mm -hmm. I want to first thank the leadership of this wonderful country. Indeed. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, thanks to all the support, all the wisdom and the direction they give us as a business community and as people. And that is the main reason why, you know, today, 
we as brands and as people are living in this wonderful island so comfortably precisely and uh, you know this is a home for most of us and really proud to be living in a country called bahrain uh, going to your question raji we are first of all humbled we are very grateful to our customers today that they, they choose brand lulu hypermarket uh, as their for as a home destination for them we are a topic of discussion at home <laughs> and it's a huge responsibility which uh, yes. we we take it very seriously we aspire almost on a daily basis to to be better to serve better to make sure the customers get what they want whether it is online or offline uh, that is the mantra and that is what something comes from the the wisdom and the direction from our chairman mr yusuf ali who keeps you know telling us to strive harder work harder and to bring out the best in our business for our customers right and uh, very true you said you know it's a big responsibility because people expect things at lulu isn't it and you don't want to disappoint those kind of customers we are so sure where to go to in lulu and your places are such your mall your hypermarkets all the eight are have they have a fashion except i think one or two the rest all of them are like intact that you know even a child knows to walk do you do that on a personal note do you ensure all this how is yeah. your yes so i think uh, uh, we are retailers mm-hmm. uh, this is our our business this is our livelihood and the most important thing which we are uh, very focused on is to listen to our customers hmm. uh, the feedback the the information we gather from our customers just helps us get better perform better uh, give the best to our our clients and yes you have to be hands on you have to roll your sleeves you must know the pulse of what the market is doing and what our customers are needing so i think it's a mix of a uh, uh, lot of back end and uh, being in the front as well right so your journey with lulu started in 1992 yes. and in bahrain 2007 down eight hypermarkets tell us about your stint with lulu the journey well you know i'm uh, proud and uh, really grateful that i have been uh, in this organization i complete 30 years in this june congratulations thank you and uh, you know it's fulfilling Uh-huh. we have uh, been trained by the best in the business we have learned from the best in the business and uh, you know we just continue uh, to do what we know we love the most we we are retailers as i mentioned earlier and uh, uh, it's been a wonderful journey you know it's great to grow with a company which is growing in front of you uh-huh. and and it's the best feeling i th- i think no other feeling in this world can replace that to see your company grow along with you and you know uh, uh today we are a, a a brand which is a household brand we are present in in most of our uh, the countries in the world we aspire to grow we aspire to be better and personally it's been rewarding you know uh, to start in 92 as as a as an accountant and uh-huh. today to reach where i am uh, you know i can only say thank you for the trust and uh, the the opportunity which has been given to me and you know i'll keep i'll keep continuing to do what i do best good to hear that what's new with lulu happening in bahrain or in the region lots mm-hmm. lots and you know we don't want to tell you everything today okay you keep hearing from us you know mm-hmm. the 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 enjoyment is to keep hearing about the news of lulu when when the time is right but we have plans our expansion is on on the route we Ex- uh, expect to bring in more retail experience virtual as well as offline and uh, as i said you know as time will pass we will keep announcing our new developments but yes mm-hmm. bahrain is a important market for us mm-hmm. we look forward to uh, catering to the customers reaching to our customers uh, you know we have started our e-commerce uh, vertical now which is started for almost a year and pandemic this um, uh, corona or the covid pandemic gave us an opportunity to just uh, reach to our customers mm. you know we we have a tagline where the world comes to shop and today lulu is going to the world also mm-hmm. in various uh, portals and we'll continue to do so we'll continue to see how 
and where there is an opportunity and we will keep expanding. Yeah, uh, just to uh, wind up the first segment with a question on the pandemic. No talk is complete without a pandemic these days, right? And you are into a business which, was, uh, which, which matters to people day to day on their day to day lives. How do you see the change in the past two years? in your business, not just with Lulu, but in general, you know, because everybody is into a contactless delivery or all those things. How is it? What, what, the, what was the new challenge? Like? Uh, interesting, Raji. Uh, you know, pandemic threw us all off the hooks. We weren't prepared in the January of 2020. No one, I think, was prepared of uh, exactly. what, what was going to hit us. And in the, in the February and in the March, we were all taken by surprise of the, the magnitude of this pandemic. Yes. We were learning. It, uh, every day was a learning curve. We, it was uh, emotional for some people. It was distressing for people who were losing their loved ones. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, in all that chaos, as, as a business, as a, as, a, as a business which is in the, in the FMCG segment, our responsibility was to make sure the customers and the people who were living in every country, wherever we are present, was to make sure that there was no panic as mm -hmm. far as scarcity of uh, supplies. And, you know, that is again, you know, I, I give this uh, credit or the, the vision of our, our chairman, you know. He, he directed us that, you know, come what may, let's keep the supplies on. And mm -hmm. because of our robust supply chain and our procurement offices across the world, that became a game changer for us. While, uh, you know, uh, when, when as a customer, Raji, as a customer, when you walk into your, our store or any store for that matter, what you want to see is your product, your oh. daily products on the shelf. The moment you don't see it, you start thinking, you start worrying. Our job, uh, along with the, the, the leadership of Bahrain, along with their directions and their guidance, was to make sure that that situation doesn't arise. So uh, we got in special uh, charter flights to bring in the goods to supply goods uh, and to make sure that the prices were not touched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it's not just about bringing the uh, goods on the shelf. It's also making sure that, you know, it does not hit when already you are in a panic mode as, yes. as a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, the biggest game changer for us was the e-commerce. We never knew that e-commerce had such a vast scope. usage and mm -hmm. scope and uh, it was enormous. Uh, we were all uh, right from holding meetings to meeting our dear ones to getting your goods on uh, delivered at home. Everything was e-commerce. So the, the best uh, advantage what we had over others was we had a platform. We were scaling up the platform, but we had to scale up faster. Mm -hmm. In, uh, our plan was to ramp up to e-commerce, say, by 21. We, we had to do it in 20. But the advantage was that we had a platform. And from there on, we started reaching out to the customers. And that became a huge plus. And, uh, you know, if you were asking me, how do you adapt? You adapt, but don't change. Mm. You stick to the basics. We, we always stuck to our basics. Our basics is retail. We know retail. We kept doing retail. But in, in retail, we kept looking at opportunities. Yes, there was an e-commerce opportunity. We were already there. Uh, we just ramped it up. Yeah. We scaled yeah. it up. Mm. We got in more people uh, and, and thing, things like that. So, yes, in business, Keep up to what you know. Yeah, and I agree with you because I remember the early days of pandemic. Uh, it was panic. It was panic everywhere. But then, yeah, you guys did it. And but still, trust me, it was not as good as going to Lulu and picking up things. You know, well, uh, we all you know, had to as long as it. we reached you, mm -hmm. uh, we we were we were trying our best to make sure that you know your your uh, life remains as normal as at as it can, at least from our standpoint. Yes, and at that very crucial time, we do remember Lulu stepped up its support activities in terms of its uh, social responsibility. Thank you very much. And in the beginning, you thank the leadership of this country. Indeed, uh, the way Team Bahrain has come up with uh, strategies in place. Good job. So with that, let's wind up the very first segment before we take a break. This is Juzo Rupawala with me on the 25th episode of Best Talk from BMC Global Life.
all your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh meat and fish Fruits and vegetables Welcome back to Biz Talk from BMC Global Live. And tonight with me is a special guest on the special occasion, Juza Rupavala, Director, Lulu Group International. Juza, I just touched upon the corporate social responsibility of Lulu and uh, the time, the past two years, where every equation changed, every definition of social service or support system changed. Uh, can you tell us something, a moment, which you can pick from your journey uh, which touched you or perhaps anything like that, which made so social responsibility all the more important, which made you realize the depth of it more? I think uh, uh, the CSR, as we mm -hmm. rightly put in our corporate language, is a must. You mm -hmm. know, uh, there is no point of a business growing when people around the business and attached to the business don't grow. Hmm. By that I mean uh, today as, as brand Lulu, it, we consider, we, we believe this is our responsibility that the SMEs or the entrepreneurs or the young and budding startup companies don't benefit with our, our, our scale. So that is where the entrepreneurial uh, CSR is concerned. Otherwise, CSR is, uh, is the most important aspect of any business and we as Lulu Hypermarket are at the forefront of it, whether supporting uh, a Royal Humanitarian Foundation or supporting the FINA Care campaign uh, launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser uh, during the pandemic uh -huh. or supporting the Crown Prince's International Scholarship Program or supporting the, the local uh, charity organizations. I think it's imperative that you connect with the society at every level possible, whether you are doing it directly or indirectly. And you know, if you ask me one special moment, every special moment of giving mm -hmm. is special. For me, you know, it uh, expands us. We do better business. We become better human beings by doing these activities. And uh, you know, uh, it's a personal uh, favorite of mine, getting involved in CSR initiatives. Uh, and we'll continue to do so as, as long as we we do business. Good to hear that, uh, Juzar. And um, following you on your social media, I've seen a couple of uh, short videos that you posted, you with your staff and engaging with uh, minute details, making them feel special. Uh, let me ask you this question. What in your definition is a good human being? A good human being? I think everyone is a good human no, being. No, in, in your thought, what is it? What does it take to be a good human being? Because I would want to link it to my previous question, because this is the time which really showed the world the need for support, shoulder to shoulder support, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I will maintain my answer, Raji, in spite of what you're asking me. The, everyone is a good person. Everyone is a good human being. I think it's only important that we stand up to occasions such as these, as, uh, as individuals, as companies. And, uh, you know, bring our best foot forward when, when the society needs you, when people need you, is when you have your best opportunity to serve. And, uh, you know, uh, that I've seen it happening across the board. Bahrain has been a for, in, in the forefront, you know, just as simple an example today uh, of Bahrain when the pandemic hit us. Uh, Bahrain treated us all equally. Yes. There was no classification. So, uh, what better example from the leadership? You know, we just follow what uh, the leadership, and we are just grateful for them to uh, to consider us as theirs. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've been talking business. Let me talk to you as a person, uh, because in this show, I try to get to know the person a little more. What is your strength, Juzar, and what is your weakness? 
a tough one. My strength is I, my confidence and uh, the ability to deliver. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't have any weaknesses. Oh, great. That's a great answer. Are you sure? I'm damn <laughs> sure of it. <laughs> okay. That was very sweet and short answer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And tell me something more about your life. How is your day, one day? Oh. Uh, I know you are a fitness freak. Yes. So the day starts in the morning uh, with a cup of coffee, obviously, in the office, uh, do the routine, uh, juggling, try to walk the floor as much as I can, mm-hmm. okay. interact with the, with, with the people who are on the floor because, you know, they are the best ears and eyes for us. And yeah, uh, go go in the evening uh, to the gym, go back home, spend uh, spend some quality time with my wife, and that's that's it. The day ends. It's work, work out home. Okay, <laughs> I like it. I like it. And when you say walk the floor, you meant Lulu, right? Lulu. Lulu. You you go and the to every. Uh, you sit in Dana Mall premises. I know yeah. your office is there. You've got a beautiful office. Uh, a, a very beautiful office, trust me. And you, do you visit all the other malls, routine or yes. how so is it? As much as possible, we try to do rounds and you know that because uh, that is the pulse of our business. Uh, that is where everything happens. That is where we get feedback. Mm-hmm. Uh, we try interacting with customers. I, I see what happens on the floor. And it's, it's just while you walk, you understand what's, what is happening in the business. And it also gives confidence to to the people who are spending a lot of time on the floor. We're talking about uh, the wonderful staff we have mm-hmm. who spend uh, hours on the floor. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's good to listen to them, talk to them, have a, have a quick uh, casual chat with them. Uh, they teach us more than we teach them. Mm. And I believe that, you know, everyone today, everyone in the world is a teacher. And it's, it's up to you to learn from I remember your post yes. on the Teacher's Day. Yes. That was a beautiful one. Yeah. Uh, the, the person who was uh, yes. wrapping the gift, yes. if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, uh, he's working. Uh, he's a proud part of uh, the Lulu group from 14 years. He's oh, okay. one of the first appointees. And uh, in spite of he being uh, deaf and mute, Oh. He talks the most. Mm. And uh, you saw that in the video. Yeah. So we are really proud to be uh, able to learn from such people all, you know, and, and everyone in general. Mm-hmm. And I've seen that you've maintained a very personal touch with your team members, right? Yeah, there's no other way, I think. Mm-hmm. I think but, uh, but how easy is it, Jusair? Because it's such a big team that you have. And I think everybody calls you Jusabai. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, that's their kindness. But, you know, I think it's important that you know what your staff is doing and you know you should know what they have to tell you uh, you know these are again skills which have been uh, taught to us we've learned from the best i keep saying that mm-hmm. and uh, we're just uh, uh, following the footsteps uh, from what we've learned but you know having said that uh, there is no other way i keep saying these things uh, you have to have your team with you they are the the ears and the eyes for you on the floor, off the floor, and that's how you you gather information. And we all take collective decisions. Uh, We are all decision makers in our own rights. And what we deliver, whatever we deliver is in front of you ultimately. Who is your inspiration? My inspiration, uh, definitely uh, our chairman and our managing director, Mr. Yusuf Ali, uh, because of the the vision and the wisdom he shares. Uh, The way we have become a multinational brand and the way he's led us, uh, he's an inspiration, I think, not to me, but to every retailer and every person today. He's a global Malayali, is his title. He's a global he? Indian. He's a global Indian, yeah. Yes. I'm a proud Malayali yes. to say that, yes. you know. Yes, indeed. And Juza, tell us about your family. Uh, uh, family. Uh, of course, we know Maria. His life, yes, family. My father, mother are in, are in Bombay. Okay. I have uh, two elder brothers with uh, their wives and children. And, uh, uh, and, you know, my nieces, my Maria's side of the family. So we are quite integrated. We are quite a family-oriented fa- uh, people. And, uh, you know, we are proud to have them in our lives. Do you miss Bombay? Uh, yeah, yes, but ba- Bahrain is home now. Okay. <laughs> but what's special about Bombay? Bo- uh, so What's I have thing? this uh, wonderful one liner when people usually ask me what is are you from Mumbai I say I'm from Bombay because you know Mumbai is a city Bombay is an emotion okay 
Yeah. I wanted to ask you this because when I asked you about Mumbai, you said Bombay, but then it skipped my mind. Okay, yeah. thanks for explaining yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So you relate it more emotionally. Yeah, absolutely. Great, great. Thank you, Juzar. As we go to the last segment of the show, we would look forward to get to know you a little more. All right. So I'll roll my sleeves for the last segment. Yes. We take a break. Point taken, yeah. On Best Talk from BMZ Global Live, it is Juzar Rupawala. collection of fine jewelry, gemstones, pearls and diamonds, fine pieces in timeless designs and unspoken elegance. Al Siraj Jewelry. Our story, our pride. Welcome back to Biz Talk from BMC Global Live, and with me is Josa Rupawala, literally rolled up his sleeves for the third segment. Josa, let me ask you, what is one thing that you want your friends to know about you? I know you've got a big friend circle, and you're a very popular man. I've heard people call you a charmer, a badsha, a lot of things, and they, nice. they regard you very dear, uh, a good friend. But what is one thing which you would want to tell, like, be wary of me of this. <laughs> no, I, uh, uh, I think if my friends want to know anything about me now, mm -hmm. then they are not my friends. Friends, okay. Maybe f new friends? Uh, time will tell them uh, to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they'll, they'll know more about me. If they so meet. there are surprises? Uh, no. Uh, with friends, I am quite relaxed. I am quite mm -hmm. casual. Uh, I don't believe in pretending. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how I am. Easy going. Uh, friends are family uh, to me, as much as family is. But friends take a lot of uh, time of our lives, and you know they are an integral part of our growing, our developing. And proud to have friends. Today, many of my friends have joined us, and I want to say thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you to all out there from my side as well, because even I find it very interesting because. I'm so happy to have you on this very special no, episode. And uh, tell me, Juzo, what are your hobbies? Uh, everything. Everything which I don't do apart from work is a hobby. Okay. Uh, workouts are hobbies. Mm -hmm. uh, time uh, Traveling is a hobby, which I think it sounds cliche, but these are things which we do. Mm -hmm. uh, Wanted to try learning music, uh, gave it, gave a shot at it, but not patient enough uh, to learn music. But yes, that would have, would have become a hobby. Uh, I sing once in a while with friends, okay. with very, uh, very close friends, mm -hmm. very close friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I get the message. Yeah, and uh, yeah, spend quality time with friends. That's my hobby. Yeah. Okay, so considering myself as a very close friend. Can I ask you to sing a couple of lines? Yeah, maybe you? later. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes, we will. How many languages do you speak, Jusuf? Uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. I speak SKUs. I speak point of sale. I speak <laughs> shelf edge labels. <laughs> okay. I speak POs. I speak retail, basically. Okay. <laughs> interesting. I don't know if anybody would have just wondered, like, what answer is out there. I did. I did wonder. Yeah, so we are retailers. I'll ask we you speak this retail. question simply because... You know, I've heard you speak my language, Malayalam. And people say it's a tough language. 
how did you manage to master this no uh, it, it happened it happened and uh, happy to to learn languages uh, as much as possible because it makes communication easy mm -hmm. it it conveys the message properly and uh, you know gets the work done uh, so yes uh, malayalam i am a proud uh, uh, learner of malayalam language okay do you want to tell us something in malayalam uh, <coughs> No, since you already know and my friends know it, mm -hmm. we'll leave it there. Really? <laughs> okay, because I thought it was very cute the way you speak Malayalam. And of course, in Lulu, you, I think you need to know Malayalam. Uh, uh, we, see, we are a global brand today, uh, Raji. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, people... Not that Lulu is not a global brand. No. But so, every second person in Bahrain is a Malayali. Uh, and, uh, you know... Uh, <coughs> Sorry. We are proud to have them as our, as our colleagues and as our customers. Uh, but, uh, you know, having said that, we have multiple uh, nationality staff working in Lulu. We have uh, all the nationalities almost, almost all the nationalities. And so, Malayalam, yes, it helps you to convey the message to a community. But, you know, English is a largely used language and uh, we'll continue to do so. Okay. So, that was a beautiful evening chat and your promise remains towards the end of the show. If that's the time, then this is the time. Okay. But just before that, what would be your, what is, what do you, how do you foresee the way forward? We know we are still in the midst of the pandemic. How are you looking at the business? Any, any new innovative ideas? Because we do not know. We are still in the uncertainty time. Uh, so, Raji, uh, yes, you know, it's an important point for all, of, for all of us to ponder today that uh, what is the way forward and uh, the way forward is to keep sticking to what we know. This, ev this time will go, we, the, everyone collectively is working towards uh, reducing the damage for, uh, of the pandemic, whether it is uh, the leadership, the governments or the institutions and businesses, we are all collectively working to make sure that we come out of this. But uh, yeah, we'll have to keep evolving, we'll have to keep innovating while, while doing what is right and sticking to the basics. And I think, you know, uh, we've gone through phases earlier also and this too shall pass. Yes, this too shall pass. That's a very positive and optimistic note. Juza, it was really a great evening, a very sweet and short chat. Now we come to the promise. To the promise, okay. So, um, I... I know you're a Bollywood fan, isn't Yes, you? I am. I am Bollywood, a buff of Bollywood. And I'll uh, <clears throat> sing this. I think it's uh, apt that we sing this song today. Uh, and just a few lines. So, it's a famous song from the movie Rock On, if you've seen the movie of Farhan Akhtar. And it just goes like this. Ye. तुम्हारी मेरी बातें हमेशा यूँ ही चलती रहे ये हमारी मुलाकातें हमेशा यूँ ही चलती रहे थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच यू सो वेरी स्वीट ऑफ यू थैंक यू सो मच द टीम बीएमसी इज इंडीड हैप्पी एंड प्राउड टू हैव यू दिस इवनिंग हियर ऑन दिस वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड एंड मी एस अ पर्सन आई रिगार्� one of the best of my experiences. Thank you. And I want to thank the entire team of uh, BMC uh, <coughs> for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, we wish you the best. You, we wish you keep growing, reaching new heights. And uh, we'll keep watching you and watching your space for a lot of interesting events and act activities. Uh, thank you, Raji, personally. This has been an, uh, a fun evening. Although my questions and my answers were not too elaborate, but I, I think I stuck to the point. <laughs> yes. And that's what I do normally. I stick to the point. Enough. That was more than enough. Thank, Thank you, Jusa. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. That was one man confidently reassuring a safe shopping experience at our very own Lulu Hypermarkets. Director, Lulu Group International, Jusa Rupawala. Until we meet next week with yet another guest, this is me, Raji Unikrishnan, signing off. Good night.
the exclusive franchisee of Cochin Kala Bhavan in Bahrain. With over a decade of existence in Bahrain, exclusive online regular classes have started for classical dances, music vocal, instrumental music, cinematic dance, Kathak, Zumba body fitness, karate and yoga, drawing, arts and craft, children's theater. For more information, please call free now. Thank you, Jusa, for joining us. That was a beautiful evening. We have a small token of appreciation from the MC. I call upon Francis Kaidar, the chairman and managing director, to handle it. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. All your favorite products under one roof in Bahrain at 27 year old Megamart and Macromart Bakery Fresh meat and fish Fruits and vegetables Sweets and snacks, ready to eat foods. Dairy products, grocery, or consumer goods. To have a wonderful shopping experience, please visit your nearest Megamart Macromart branch. Megamart and Macromart, full of goodness. With our stunning collection of fine jewelry, gemstones, pearls and diamonds, fine pieces in timeless designs and unspoken elegance. Al Siraj Jewelry. Our story, our pride. Exclusive franchisee of Cochin Kala Bhavan in Bahrain. With over a decade of existence in Bahrain, exclusive online regular classes have started for classical dances, music vocal, instrumental music, cinematic dance, Kathak, Zumba body fitness, karate and yoga, drawing, arts and craft, children's theater. For more information, please call 39 Zero nine six eight. 
4539042306382397 or visit www.bahrainmediacity.com Since 2006, Magnum Imprint have been offering high standards of quality with our professional team that delivers all your advertising and promotional requirements efficiently and promptly. For more details.